this computer. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Waite. Oleg Nenashev and I are here with the Platform Special Interest Group meeting. Thanks for being here. I'm going to start sharing my screen and let's look at the agenda. So welcome to the New Year edition of the Platform Special Interest Group. Um, we yeah, we're going to still in the Christmas mode, taking the number of participants. <laughs> that's right. There aren't many of us. Uh, that's that's okay. It's it's the day after the the New Year's holiday. So mm -hmm. we'll talk about open action items. Give a report on the o Adopt Open JDK proposed transition and that project. The Adopt Open JDK Open J9 uh, image progress. Uh, if uh, Alex Earl joins us. We may talk about Windows installer. We may need to skip it. Then we've got a general topic on broadening platform support and Google Summer of Code 2020 project ideas discussion uh, that Oleg has agreed to lead. Any other topics we need to add, Oleg? I don't think so. I still need to uh, catch up to uh, use all uh, the stories uh, because yeah, I was busy with Jenkins Vault and other things. Well, and I, as I'm reminded, um, let me put an action item here. Mark, create an epic, because really, we've I like that we're using Jira as a way to track those things, and mm -hmm. they they justify an epic because there are multiple tasks hiding in the, especially this hotspot transition mm -hmm. or open adopt open JDK transition room progress yeah. so let's speaking of apex actually we could add uh, one additional topic okay uh, uh, renaming of agent uh, docker images oh oh yes uh, yes let's put yeah. that i'm going to insert that right here so renaming mm -hmm. the ssh oh no you say the agent docker images exactly so it's a part of uh, jenkins 48 42 I'll uh, add a link to the agenda. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I spent some time uh, preparing uh, Windows agents and uh, SSH built agents plugins, um, and finally I'm ready to work on the images. Great. All right. So yeah. noted. Yeah. Excellent. Any other topics before we actually start working through the agenda topics? I don't know. So, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So, on open action items, I, I apologize. I still have the open item to create a JEP for Docker operating system support uh, and platform selection rules. Um, two weeks and two weeks, and I'll report on it again. Oleg, you've still got the item for a JEP for Windows support policy. Now, maybe mm, no. Oleg, there, the, the governance, the next governance meeting, is it one week from now, two weeks from now? Mm, two weeks. It's on January 15th. Okay, so next governance meeting. So, so it would be really, this is a good time for me to, to create a JEP because then it's mm -hmm. a category, it's a, a catalyst for a discussion in the governance meeting in about two weeks. Good. Okay. Yeah, we have a pretty packed agenda already, but yeah. Oh, okay. At least uh, having these topics would be nice. Though, Great. yeah, one of the things is uh, the job process, that uh, governance meeting basically doesn't have say uh, in the job process right, right now. The uh, job process is based on BDFL, not on the governance above. Ah, uh, okay. So for discussion, I would rather suggest using a mailing list. Uh, and if you need to sign off, uh, then yes, governance meeting like we did, for example, for web browsers last week, last month. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. discuss in the mailing list. Mm -hmm. I will do that. Thank you. And I'm going to put this these notes under the one that I've got. It's the longest lived action item I think I've ever had in my life. So I got to get on mm -hmm. it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Uh, we also had an action item on the Windows installer code and signing it with uh, Olivier. Um, yeah. Have you had any word on any progress from the Continuous Delivery Foundation or mm. whoever it is that needs to resolve our code signing questions? No progress. So okay. I'm about pinging them, but my basically it's a Christmas break. 
So uh, I wouldn't expect anything to happen till the next week. Right. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now I am proud to note one action item has been done. I for sure can confirm that I've now been added as a Docker maintainer. Oleg, you are also a Docker maintainer, right? All right. So what we did a couple of weeks ago, we created a new GitHub team, which basically streamlined support for all Docker images. So all Docker images are currently managed by a single team, including Alexel, Mark, uh, Nikola Delov, um, Kiki, and maybe a few other contributors. Uh, so basically, usual suspects uh, from uh, who used to maintain images before. Um, and the, uh, regarding Docker Hub permissions, uh, basically maintainers do not need them, but it's uh, the same thing. Great. All right. Um, well, I would say that they might be required, for example, if you want to introduce a new platform and other things. Uh, but uh, they're not uh, required uh, um, in general because we have continuous delivery for images for release tags. Right, and so mm -hmm. um, is the and is that for my information is the continuous delivery using the trusted CI? No. Um, so all agent images are being released from Docker Hub at the moment. Okay. Uh, the Jenkins official master, I mean master image is released by trusted ci ah right okay yeah and that that is where the official master image was the the long ago story about our needing to have much faster response time from in order to generate that master image in case of security fixes for instance right. trusted ci okay well basically the same problem applies to agents why we oh. didn't uh, move uh, agent builds to trusted CI is mostly because of the access, because nobody from platform seek and from Docker maintainers uh, had access to trusted CI. Uh -huh. Now the situation changed and we could reconsider that, uh, but it requires some effort. Okay. Because All right. uh, yeah, you generally need to rebuild the entire pipeline. Okay, so let me make a note of the trusted CI also like the master image. Great, okay. It's not probably, I think it should, because okay. again, it applies uh, to security concerns. Mm -hmm. So when we have a security release for remoting, we need to cut images. Um, and we had a lot of issues with that before. Uh, so I would uh, rather cut, uh, completely rebuild uh, the pipeline for images. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is that one where an epics, epic would be beneficial on moving the agent image generation process into trusted CI? Yeah, I think uh, there was a Jira task for that. I'm not sure about epic. So if you create an action item for me, I'll try to find it out. Okay, all right. Because we definitely discussed it again when we were doing uh, Java 11 support work because we hit all the same issues there. Got it. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, I'm not sure whether it's an epic. And yeah, even if it's an epic, I'm not sure whether we have contributors for already to commit their time now. Okay, all right. Yep. One uh, thing uh, which uh, may require us to act on this topic is uh, Windows uh, images. Because right now we don't ship official images for Windows. Uh, we have Jenkins file, which basically uh, uh, publishes it on Jenkins for eval. It's evaluation uh, instance for Docker images. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to ship official images, then we need uh, trust the CI. Because uh, in the current state of Docker Inc., uh, I wouldn't expect Docker Hub to support uh, Docker images. I mean, Windows images. Ah, okay. So, so I was so so. Just to be sure I've understood what you're saying, mm -hmm. when we, and I, I assume the day will come when we want to publish a Windows image in Docker um, well, as Windows. We Studio. want to publish them now. We cannot. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And and the thing that is needed there is trusted CI work, not work on Docker Hub. Right. Okay. So Docker Hub just doesn't support building Windows images. 
and, and that part surprises me because the mm -hmm. adopt open jdk open j9 folks noted that docker hub now supports series 390 and power pc 64 le so but they, builds or platforms um, because you can oh, publish a platform uh, um, but uh, whether you can build the image i'm not sure ah okay and, and that i i don't know the distinction of that all right so Mm -hmm. But it, nonetheless, in any case, we would we we need the control that Trusted CI gives us of publishing our own our, our own images, right? Yes. So, Actually, we also need to start sending images at some point because right now all Argentine uh, images are not signed. I uh, mean, uh, there is additional metadata which is added to images, and uh, right now. I would rather consider our images as untrusted and the official uh, guideline uh, by Docker is that you shouldn't be, be building trusted images on Docker Hub anyway. Ah, ah okay. So, so the other, the other thing, so let me make a note of that. We need to build, uh, image build, we need to sign images after building them. Well, we do not need to do that, but it would be definitely an improvement. Uh, for some categories of users. Okay, so we should sign images after after building them for trust, um, security, etc. And that again is needs uh, certificates, etc. On trusted CI. Um, Did I say on, that? Yeah, not on trusted CI. Likely, it will be another release environment. So oh, okay. Olivier is uh, working on uh, releasing an environment for Jenkins images, oh, and, sorry, for Jenkins core. And once it's ready, most likely we will have to move uh, the entire Docker uh, delivery pipeline to that instance. Okay. So uh, my understanding is that it won't be a trusted CI anymore once the project is completed. Got it. So, so all right, so, there we go, all right. So did I did that? Does that state it reasonably well then? Yeah, I'll uh, add the link uh, to the documentation. Yeah. I spent some time to write uh, documentation for this environment uh, in this number. So I'm happy that I can uh, share a link. Yep. Perfect. All right. At least I tried to share the link, but. It, doesn't get wasted. Why? Oh, so I'm getting in the way. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, yes. No, it's fine. It's an issue with my laptop, I guess. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So next topic, uh, are ready to go to next topic from the yeah. action items? So next was the Adopt Open JDK Hotspot Transition Progress Report. I've got the action item to create an epic, and I'll let me make a note of that. There we go. So the Victor Victor Martinez and I had gathered some rough notes on the, that transition process mm -hmm. and talked through them, and it feels like it felt like to us there's a lot of work involved in making that transition, but it's worthwhile. Um, my idea was to take this as, as I guess, a baseline for a JET proposing the change. Is that the right, the, the right approach to, because it's, it's bigger than a single pull request as far as I can tell. Yeah, it's definitely bigger, firstly because it involves not only Jenkins master, it also involves agents, if you want to complete the transition. So it's at least five to six repositories involved. Uh, secondly, uh, all kinds of release pipeline and testing questions uh, go to into equation. Um, and also the, the transition approach, because you can just add uh, more configurations. In such case, it can be a bit uh, relaxed, but if you want to change the default configuration, then uh, it becomes, uh, quite complicated and I'm not sure what's uh, our intention do we want to change the default uh, so my initial thought was that we should change the default to insulate ourselves more effectively 
from operating system vendors breaking their JDKs. However, that's there that's trading one form of breakage for another, right? If we get mm -hmm an imperfect set of packages inside the Debian image, for instance, and it's not the same as the old packages and some user depends on it, they'll be broken. So I'm open to open to either. It's just, it felt like if we just add a new one, we have an even larger collection then of Docker images that we support. And I'm, I'm not feeling especially strong that, Oh, that that's the right approach. Your, your insights. What do you think? Um, I'm fine with just replacing uh, OpenGDK with Adopt OpenGDK. If we do so, it has to be JEP, that's for sure. It has to be signed off in the community, that's for sure. Um, and uh, timing-wise, it's better to do it um, after we finish uh, code release automation. Right, right. And I think uh, that given the amount of work involved, there is no way it could be done before core release automation is done. There's just, there's too much to do in terms of new testing, um, worrying about have we, have we uh, determined the correct set of things that we need to include and does adopt open JDK have the correct operating system definition for what we need? That kind right, of thing. But, um, yeah, you can still uh, introduce uh, the image itself uh, at any moment. So yeah, we can change the default maybe, say, in several months. But uh, right now we can uh, add more configurations. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to start evaluation, it would be a good step. Mm. I do promise that you will get a lot of adoption, uh, but uh, yeah, we invested some time in order to make changes more visible. Uh, for mm -hmm. example, uh, we have change logs for all images now. We can uh, also do announcements in social media. We can post a blog so that we start the evaluation. I don't Very expect, good. yeah, I don't expect any major issues with Adopt Open GDB, GDK, to be honest. Um, but yeah, if we can uh, make uh, the image available earlier, uh, let's do that. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so in the epic, then it feels like capture rough notes mm -hmm. as, as uh, tasks in the epic so that we've got them there and can see its progress great thank yeah. you one thing uh, which was mentioning here that say uh, jenkins io largely runs on adopt open gdk even now mm -hmm. uh, so with regards to testing uh, we actually having base images uh, on the top of adopt and open gdk makes even more sense at the moment well, and, and I'm using Adopt Open JDK everywhere in my CI environment. Mm -hmm. I, just, I install it as a separate, separate component and it runs everything, J, Java 8, Java 11. Mm -hmm. So I have not done anything beyond Java 11, but I've, I've been very pleased with the results I've seen. Mm -hmm. Excellent, okay. Thanks. Okay. Anything else on the Adopt Open JDK hotspot topic? Mm, nope. Okay. Next one then. Adopt Open JDK new image progress report. So again, this one gets an action item for me to create. This one is just a new image, right? There is no. Pro it is not a proposal to change the um, the default image to use Open J9. That's mm -hmm. just too large a change. We have a pull request already proposing. Uh, we just need to do review of that pull request, uh, get it ex the experiments running, um, user feedback, etc. I think uh, we can do it along with um, hotspot images. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, request Good my opinion on this pull request. But yeah, as long as we don't modify the default image, I believe that we have a lot of freedom. Great, excellent, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm.
next topic was renaming the agent Docker images. So is there something that you would like to share with, share with the group in terms of that one, Oleg? Yeah, so basically it's uh, the same uh, like other stories. So we have obsolete sleeve uh, terminology and uh, uh, this terminology still uh, exists uh, in uh, official uh, Docker agent images we ship. So we have uh, Docker uh, Jenkins slash slave, Jenkins slash SSH slave, and Jenkins slash general key slave. Uh, so the suggestion on the table is to finally get rid of uh, all of them. Um, uh, the problem is that uh, is basically visibility. Uh, because uh, Docker Hub doesn't support dynamic images, and it means that uh, if yeah, if you want to do so, we will lose all the statistics, all stars, uh, but the rest uh, should be fine. Okay, so and so, but if we is the idea then that we would actually abandon the main maintenance of Jenkins, oh, of Jenkins slash slave. Or is it rather that it would there would just be a new image mm -hmm. called agent and it would be maintained in parallel with with the, the old name and new name both being published as releases? Um, yeah, I think it will be um, uh, two images at least for a while. So okay. we already did a migration um, as a part of Jenkins to the zero. We introduced new Jenkins uh, GitHub organization. Before that, we had uh, um, a Jenkins CI. And at that point, yeah, we just recreated the, the, the images. So why I didn't do renaming before is because um, in Docker Hub, basically, uh, auto build was an all in feature. And if you wanted to disable auto builds, you uh, have had to recreate the repositories. That's why we uh, didn't rename these images at that point. Uh, but right now we can do that, um, even if we plan to move to trusted CI or to release the environment later. Uh, but yeah, we can just uh, disable auto builds. So it's a less uh, of concern at the moment, and I, uh, I'm tempted to press it with uh, this change, even before we have uh, uh, pipeline change or changes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, historically, we did a renaming once. Uh, there is a blog post uh, by Baptiste Matos, uh, which describes uh, the process. So we will do announcements, we will duplicate uh, the old images, and maybe in uh, several months, we stop updating them. That's it. Well, yeah, well, uh, Docker Hub uh, builds uh, the images automatically. It's not something we care about. I mean, you know, the, uh, at least practically, uh, it uh, creates, creates additional workload and additional cost for Docker. And we much appreciate that, but uh, sponsorship, but uh, technically we can just copy and paste configurations. Ah, uh, so, uh, okay. So mm -hmm. so the non-supportive rename in Docker Hub is not, not a big deal. It just, we've got to run our process. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't even have to run our process. We can uh, duplicate uh, the pipelines on Docker Hub. Mm, it's just okay. uh, double the amount of uh, builds. I see. Well, technically, we can just uh, update uh, the repository. We create uh, can create a new repository, for example, for slave images, where we uh, just extend uh, additional base images, mark everything as duplicated, put documentation. Uh, but it implies a lot of lack of work. So, yeah, if there is a consensus so that we want to do that, I can do that. Got it. Okay. But not this month, but yeah, we can start planning it. Right, right. This this is another one of those that that I assume needs we need discussion and, like you said, we need a, a promotion, mm -hmm. actively notifying people, blog posts, etc. That hey. Here's this change coming. We're really getting rid of this. We're doing more work to get rid of this obsolete terminology. Yep. Got it. All right. So Thanks. For uh, images, I just think it has to happen because it's visible, uh, it's been consumed everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, if you like, it requires some downstream changes, for example, in Kubernetes plugin and other plugins which document usage of these images. Um, yeah. 
is something we can do. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got Basically, it. Kubernetes and Docker plugins. I doubt that anything else uh, refers to them directly, but. Okay. All right. Anything else on renaming the Docker agent? No. Windows installer with slide not here. I assume we just make a quick note that it's uh, blocked, waiting, awaiting, mm -hmm. uh, code signing progress. Okay, then we've got broadening platform support. Just to note that yes, we have PRs proposing CentOS 8. And I think this was actually proposing CentOS 8 replacing CentOS 7. I've got to double check that. I'll have to look at the PR. Mm -hmm. We have a proposal to add an Ubuntu image. And then notes from previous meetings on the capabilities that are available to do platform builds in other projects in case we need them. All right, last topic, Google Summer of Code. Ole? Yep, so I'm not sure whether we have enough people to discuss this topic here, but the idea that uh, we're looking for mentors, we're looking for project ideas. Uh, last year we did uh, um, several projects which were uh, related to Platform Seek, for example, Plugin Installation Manager. Uh, so hopefully next year we will also have some projects and we invite all contributors to participate uh, to propose the ideas. So Mark uh, has already proposed a few ideas related to Git plugin. Uh, but yeah, if somebody wants to work on Docker packaging, for example, or on whatever other topic related to platform support, is definitely something we could do. Okay, and so I saw that you had noted the a concern, or you noted in the mailing list about um, the proposal startup process. I was, had assumed that I was supposed to start them by opening conversations in the mailing list, but I think you had a correct observation that the, the platforms or that the GSOC mailing list is a pretty narrow group. Um, can you give some more insights on should I be hoisting these conversations into the Jenkins developers group? For technical uh, dives, yes. So one of the reasons is because the JSOC is a uh, mailing list for JSOC coordination, not for technical discussions. Another reason is that uh, Google Summer of Code is just one of the outreach programs we have. We also have community bridge, we have outreach, we may have uh, participated in other programs like Alibaba Summer of Code uh, this summer, who knows. Uh, so uh, by keeping discussions in the developer mailing list, basically you keep your options open. Okay, great. All right. So I will, I will launch future discussions there. Those are good places to do it. Thanks. Mm -hmm. And well, I just made a proposal because yeah, you followed the process. I just proposed uh, to change the process a bit. Well, and I, I like that actually. I think that's that's a good insight. I would I would love to have more feedback. And you're certainly right that. There are many, many more readers of the Jenkins developers mailing list than the Jenkins GSOC project mailing list. So yeah, that makes yes. very good sense. Yeah, regarding project ideas, actually I uh, had uh, two project ideas in mind. Uh, one is um, about a few of the Java versions, because yeah, we definitely know that Jenkins doesn't fully work on Java plugin. So it could be an opportunity to have a JSOC project to focus on, on new Java versions. And, so, uh, and 13 yeah. has a, actually officially released now, right? But it's yes. not an LTS. And I thought mm -hmm. I'd understood that they'd said that 14 is not necessarily an LTS either? Yeah, yeah from what I heard, the 17th will be the next LTS. Okay. Uh, but yeah, even uh, if, it's not LTS, it uh, may worth investing in compatibility and in, uh, some cleanup. Right, right. For, uh, yeah, safety for an eventual, because we, we can predict that there is an LTS mm -hmm. coming, right? Whatever exactly. version they choose, there will be one, and it will have 
well, as an example, they've, they, we, they warned us at Java 11, hey, we're going to turn off certain things. They then had to back off, but I would guess the next LTS, they're not going to back off in those, what were they? There, there's still a, a number of messages we get about, oh, mm -hmm. I'm embarrassed to admit it. I don't remember. Uh, illegal reflective access? Yes, yes, illegal reflective access messages. The, that those yeah. may be, they had warned in 11, hey, we're going to make these hard stop. And they backed off from that, but now in in the next LTS, whatever it is, they may say, nope, those are hard stop, and we need to get those fixed well before that thing releases. Well, it's yet to be seen. Oh, okay. But, All uh, right. Yeah, at least exploring these options so would be nice. Yeah, so if uh, there are contributors who are interested to lead this project, I think it would fly really well. And yeah, maybe another side of the similar discussion is about uh, Graal VM and uh, other um, native images. Because uh, yeah, if we had a native image for Jenkins, it would be a really good improvement. So I did a prototype for Jenkins file runner at some point. Um, but yeah, Jenkins file runner is quite specific. But if we could uh, find a ways to actually use it, for example, for Jenkins agents, uh, to speed them up, uh, if we could improve class caching uh, in Docker images, uh, then it would be a really feasible uh, project helpful for the community. So can you give me some orientation on Growl VM? It really compiles to native code? It depends on how you configure that. Because basically Growl VM uh, supports uh, native images, uh, which are basically compiled uh, and packaged, including Java, or they can uh, just uh, do the dynamic stuff, which is much less efficient, but uh, much more compatible. Uh, okay, but mm -hmm. so that that would be if we if it went all the way to native image, mm -hmm. conceptually, then I'm sitting on an an AMD64 box and it's running native AMD64 code, not through the Java, not through the Java just in time compiler. Cool. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Basi right. So basically, it's one of the stories which we need to consider if we want to make Jenkins cloud native at some point, because Java is not a efficient in cloud native application on its own. It's, own. it's improved. Uh, it's improving, of course. But if we take uh, projects like Graal, like Quarkus, uh, they uh, provide a lot of additional features which help uh, to use uh, Java in uh, container environments. Right, yeah. okay, so Quarkus it's... in this case. I'm sorry, what was uh, the other one? Elevated down. Okay. Uh, I still pronounce Quarkus like Quartus. Oh, oh, Quarkus, I, I, it's yeah, like Quarkus. that, right? Yep. Got it. So, so it's not uh, something I uh, target specifically, but uh, yeah, if we have people interested, for example, uh, if we could facilitate it uh, through Red Hat, because Red Hat is one of the main contributors of Quarkus at the moment, mm. uh, yeah, we could definitely have for this project. Yeah. Though it might be a bit overcomplicated for a JSOC student, but we'll see. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was able to run Jenkins file runner than Quarkus. It just took maybe a couple of evenings. Which is really, to me, quite surprising because of, with all of the, all of the things that, all of the things that were such a challenge in Java 11, in the Java 11 transition, I would have assumed those plus many, many more would be a challenge in an, in something trying to run a native image. That's that's really encouraging. Mm, well, uh, Jenkins file runner has its own advantages because you know what you are going to run there. Uh, so uh, the plugin ecosystem is pretty reduced there. Well, you can run plugins in classic way, but it just doesn't make any sense. So in my case, basically I unpacked everything uh, to play dependencies and then compiled it to this standard Maven plugin. Ah, uh, okay, all right. Yeah, it doesn't address uh, deployment options because Quarkus can uh, split image to layers so that you can uh, deploy classes quickly and other cool things. But in my case, it was just a big blob native image which worked. Thank you. 
All right. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we need to discuss there with regard to Google Summer of Code? Mm, yeah, we'll probably all say it. I think startup time as a project. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and I know we had talked, There's there had been earlier projects and they're already on the list, aren't they, for uh, log storage, uh, for external log storage and... Mm -hmm. Log storage, no. We have uh, fingerprint storage as a okay. project idea. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure whether it's going to proceed this year. It's in the draft and basically if you want to deliver on that, we need uh, potential mentors. Okay, so external fingerprint storage is there. Mm -hmm. um, and there was the, the external storage project that had been attempted for external job storage or for external logs? Mm, no, we didn't have such project. No, okay. Uh, we were discussing them, uh, but basically it boiled down, down to lack of mentors. Got it, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other topics on Google Summer of Code 2020? So yeah, if somebody has any ideas in mind, uh, please uh, submit uh, these ideas and the projects can be quite complex. So it's not uh, that we are looking for newbie friendly issues to, to be addressed. Uh, this year, for example, we delivered features like plugin installation manager, we delivered the GitLab branch source, which are major features uh, important to the Jenkins community. Let's do the same with this year. I like that. I like that very much. Thanks. Okay. So I'll erase this topic again next week. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, let's see. All right. Thank you. That's mm -hmm. all that I had. Anything more from you, Oleg? Mm, no, nothing from me. All right, then let's call it done. I will mm -hmm. stop sharing, archive the recording. Let's call the meeting done. Okay. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>